Just in to CNN, the Michigan Attorney General has charged 16 so-called fake electors in the 2020 election. CNN's Jessica Schneider joins us now with this breaking story. Jessica, what charges are these fake electors facing? Uh, Jake, there are eight counts in all, 16 defendants facing eight counts, really amounting to if they were convicted on all of those decades in prison. This is notable because this is the first time that these alleged fake electors are actually being charged criminally um, by state prosecutors. This coming from the Attorney General Dana Nessel right here in Michigan. This all stems from December 14th, 2020, when here in Michigan, um, 16 of those fake electors tried to storm into the Capitol just behind me. They were actually stopped by police, but they had these fake certificates declaring Donald Trump the winner of the state of Michigan, despite the fact that Joe Biden had actually won this state by 154,000 votes. The police stopped those electors from forcing their way into the Capitol, but they were prepared to try to argue that Donald Trump had won the election. And after a long investigation by the attorney general, she actually initially referred it to federal prosecutors at DOJ, but then actually started her own investigation back in January. She is now charging 16 of those defendants. We've been watching the court proceedings happen throughout the day here. Those defendants are expected that they will turn themselves in in the coming days. And I will note that there are some notable names among these 16 defendants. One of them is Michonne Maddock. She's the co-chair of the Michigan Republican Party. Another one, Kathy Burden. She's one of the Republican National Committee members here in Michigan. So Jake, this is a notable move by the state's attorney general, Dana Nessel, charging 16 of these fake electors, notably, there's also these investigations into the fake elector scheme in those six other states where those electors tried to submit those fake documents in favor of Donald Trump. Those investigations, particularly in Georgia and Arizona, are ongoing. And today, the first state charges against those fake electors for a number of different charges, including forgery, um, also conspiracy to commit election law forgery. So, Jake, a notable move coming from the attorney general here in Lansing, Michigan.